video I'm going to cover the topic of a scenario where we have a single cable running down to a main TV viewing room and in that room we have for instance a Serview set top box which is running off a UHF aerial and something like the Sky Plus HD box here which is two satellite feeds. Um, Building this on top of the roof around an outside wall we have a satellite dish with two feeds coming off the Sky Quad LLB and a UHF aerial. So we've three cables coming in total, one from the UHF aerial, two from the satellite dish. We've required three feeds in the room and we only have a single cable um, uh, combining them or joining those two locations. So what we need is something that will combine satellite, two satellite signals and a terrestrial signal into a single feed. So we can do this in um, two ways, or we can do this in two steps. The first thing I'm going to cover is this uh, stacker that I have in my hand here, okay? And this is basically for combining together um, satellite signals from two satellite dishes, uh, joining them into a single feed and splitting them back out. But one of the inputs in this can also cover the UHF spectrum, so it can handle serial signals as well. So to combine a, a terrestrial and satellite feed together, we'll use these very simple and low cost devices, which are called satellite TV combiners. So basically we feed in a satellite and a terrestrial signal in here, either side, and we split it back out and a single cable is coming out that will have combined satellite and terrestrial. I'm going to cover this in more detail in a moment. Uh, and then basically then, uh, what we do is we combine this into the stacker, we run a single cable from the stacker to the de-stacker. Now the stacker by the way would be mounted very close normally to where the satellite dish is, or possibly in an attic. And the D-stacker will always be mounted uh, next to the set-top box, okay? Uh, so we're going to go through uh, the, the actual steps of this anyway. So I, I'm going to just wire this as if, um, what I've actually done already is this D-stacker is powered, it comes with a power unit and we can see we already have it plugged in here and there's a small LED lighting, okay? So what I'm going to do with this picture point is, I'm just going to lean down, I'm going to pick up one of the satellite feeds here and I'm going to come along here and we can see on the combiner here we've two inputs these can be used either to combine signals or also to split out signals so on one side here we have uh, with a power pass symbol on it we have um, an input here that covers the spectrum 950 all the way up to uh, 2250 so basically the satellite broad um, frequencies and on the other side we have an input that will cover from 5 up to 860 megahertz, which basically covers the VHF and UHF spectrum. For us, what's important is the UHF spectrum. So what we need to do here is I simply have a, a push-on type F connector here. I'd normally have a screw on one, but just for the demonstration, we push it in here. And what we normally do is we have the feed coming from the UHF aerial and we combine it on this side. So with two inputs here, satellite and UHF, and on the output side, we have a single cable which now has a combined UHF and satellite signal in a single cable. So if we look then at our stacker, the stacker, we have two inputs here. We have one that covers the spectrum range 950 to 2150 megahertz. We have the output here and we have the other input and the input on LMB2 interestingly starts much lower at 47 megahertz and once again goes up to 2150. And the importance of this is that it can handle and carry both terrestrial and also a satellite signal in a single thing. So what we would do is we would take a feed, a cable running from this and running it directly over to the LMB2. So it's essential that the, the feed that has the satellite and terrestrial combined together feeds into LMB2. Okay? And on the other side here, what we would do is we would come along and we would feed in our second satellite feed. So at this point what we would have is We'd have one satellite feed coming in here and another feed that's carrying in both satellite and terrestrial. So this cable running out here on the common will have two satellite feeds and a terrestrial feed combined into one. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to connect on a cable which is going to represent excuse me now, represent um, the, uh, the cable that's running, we'll say, from the attic directly down to your living room, that single cable. So what we'll do here is if we come along and we connect this onto a D-stacker here, we'll see there's a common input here on it. So I'll just push it in here. 
and this feeds the signal. This is uh, taking the feed, but also feeding power up to the stacker. If I actually just rotate around the stacker, we'll see the LED light is now turned on, and it's because it's taking power from the D stacker. So what we do at this point then is, we would take one feed, basically LMB1, that's just covering satellite output, and we'll take that, and we would feed it directly from there, over to, I'm just going to rotate this around at this point here, our satellite box. And we can just feed it into either one of these. Input one or two, doesn't really matter. We'll just feed it into input one here. So now we have a satellite signal that's been split back out. On the other side here, the LNB2, we know that that corresponds to the LNB2 up above, which has both a terrestrial and a satellite input. So what we need to do is split that signal back out. So what we would do is we would take a feed off of this and we would feed it into the input here so you can see the combiners can be used in reverse it's marked both in and out and we have two outputs here one output we could take a feed from so for the satellite so we would actually just take the satellite feed here and we would feed it directly into just this along here into our satellite box here so now we have two feeds coming here, and from the other side, we will take out the terrestrial feed. So we'll push on this cable here. And we'll feed it into the input port on this. Okay, so that's it. Now, it's a little bit complicated uh, in terms of wiring up. You have to obey the rules in terms of there's a difference between LNB port uh, 1 and 2 in this particular uh, circumstance because only LNB port 2 can handle terrestrial signals. But you can see that it's relatively straightforward. Now, the disadvantage of this is using things like combiners here and all the rest of it, there's always a certain level of signal loss. So if you have good, strong terrestrial and satellite signals in here, you'll get away with this. If you have very marginal signals, you may be forced to actually run additional cables because you might be get around it. But often this does work. And it's quite neat that you can compress three separate signals into um, a single cable like this. So that's it anyway, overview of how you can combine two satellite signals and a um, terrestrial signal into a single cable and split it back out to be able to feed a Sky Plus or a FreeSat Plus in D-Box along with um, a Serview TV or set-top box.